Hello and welcome. So we installed ClickTeam Fusion 2.5 free edition and now we're gonna figure out how to make games and how to publish games with this. This is gonna be a very quick tutorial. Please give this video a like. You will get to your goal very quickly so you might forget to do that later. So give a video a like right now. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about game development later. And uh, yeah, I hope this is useful. Let me know in the comments if it is. First go to File, New. And here is your first screen. Right click into it, insert object, pick active and OK. Click somewhere, left mouse click, this is your player. It's quite ugly, so double click this. Here we can zoom in with control mouse wheel and full screen this even. And let's paint something nice. OK, this is just wonderful. Let's press OK. And this is it, this is our player. We're going to enable movement by clicking on the movement tab and from static we're going to select eight directions. And we can test this by going to run, build and run. Let's call this project test and as project path we're going to press browse and I'm going to select documents and create a new folder and call this click team test one and press OK. Now press OK again and it opens up immediately. Here we go. With the arrow keys you can move around. If you want to change the keys that are used for moving, you can click on the application, go to the Runtime Options tab, scroll down, and here in Default Controls you can press Edit, and this is Player 1, so you can select Keyboard 1, and here you can change, for example, to W, S, A, D. And if we test it now, it will work with WASD. But I'm just going to keep it international. I'm going to click on this, click on this, and go back to default controls and going to set them back to arrow up, arrow down, arrow left, arrow right. OK. OK. Now let's create objects we can collect. So let's right click, insert object, active again, press OK, and click somewhere. This I'm going to rename to coin. Doesn't look like a coin. Let's double click it and make it look like a coin. Yeah, good enough. All right, so we have this coin. Let's just drag it multiple times in from the side. We can also control C, control V, and then just click. And now I want a score counter. So let's go to right click insert object and we're going to search for score. Click this, click somewhere in the scene. And we can't quite see it. Let's click on this. Hey, where did this go? In properties of the score, all we got to do is change its type from numbers to text. And then we can change the text. For example, I can click on Tahoma here and just increase the text size to, let's say, 36. And I'm going to make it bold. And I can resize this and move it around a little. Now, if we test this now, of course, nothing will happen. Yep, because we didn't program anything yet. So now it's time to add behavior. Let's click Event Editor and add a new condition. Click on the player, collision, overlapping another object. Now we're going to click the coin. All right, when this happens, so now we have to right click here under player one, score, and add to score. And we're going to type in the number one in here and just press OK. So that adds one score. If we test this, that's not enough. Yeah, because we get unlimited score. So we need to also destroy the coin that we collect. So right click under the coin and add destroy. If we test it now, it works perfectly. All this needs is sound. So let's go to BFXR and I'm gonna just trust this website and also enable flash. Here let us just generate some pickup sound. Yeah, this is nice and short. Let's export WAV. Gonna just save it as coin. And now here under sound, we can right click samples, play sample. 
but here we need to find it from a file. Browse, press browse, go to the folder containing the coin, click on the coin. And now if we test this, there we go. Okay, time to finish our game. Let's go to storyboard editor. Here, let's just press on the number two, double click on the scene, and we're gonna add an object. Searching for text, we're just gonna pick string. And this is just gonna be a U win screen. Woohoo! Let's center that and uh, go back to frame one. Double clicking that. We can call this, by the way, uh, let's rename this to game and game end, I suppose. Let's see, one, two, three, four. you know what, let's make it 15. Once you collect 15, you're gonna supposed to change the game end. So new condition, score, compare to player score. If it's equal 15, or we can go for greater or equal just to be safe. And then we're gonna click here in storyboard controls, right click here and just say next frame. Let's give it a try. Build and run. Boop boop, we're done. Okay, let's go to file build application. Uh, we have the same path, so let's just do that. Okay, let's go to that folder. Actually, also before we do that, let's save. I'm just gonna call this game one. Okay, here's a folder. In my case, I have a coin in here, but that's probably a bad thing. Let's go into test. Here we have index and source and resources. Let's check resources. We have sound files here. That's great. We have uh, that logo. Oh, well. And uh, wait a second. Oh, this is actually a sprite sheet of all the images in the game. Cool. Uh, I don't know what these are. And then we have source, which is just scripts. What we need to do now is create a zip file of these. So let's just right click these and I'm going to use 7-zip and add to test.zip. Okay, I have my test.zip here. You can also use send to and then compress zip folder. That also works. I'm going to publish my game on itch.io. So I'm going to just create a new project here. It's going to have a fantastic name as you can see. And I'm just going to go straight down to, yeah, totally should donate for this and upload files. And in test, I'm going to select, well, either is fine. Let's just try test. It's uploading, it's done. And I guess for this to work, I have to change this from downloadable to uh, HTML. Is this an executable? Let's do, wait, cancel. Right, right. This actually is now converted to this file will be played in the browser. So let's uh, give it a try. Uh, I don't think we need to fill out anything else yet. Draft, save and view. Okay, run game. There we are, we just need to uh, adjust the size. Let me just move around here. Oh, it works. Of course, uh, arrow keys move, move the whole screen, which is annoying, but huh, oh well. This is maybe why I should switch to WASD controls after all. I'm just gonna press back in my browser and I need to figure out which resolution we need here. Uh, 640 by 360. If you click on game, we can see the resolution is uh, 640 by 480. But I guess there is a little f yeah padding needed by this uh, click team branding. So this is 480. First of all, let's uh, save and save and view. New tab. Okay. Well, you know what? We're just gonna add a little and then see how it works. Let's just set it to 660 by 500. Save, reload. Nearly. 670 and 510. Save, reload. Yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, and this still happens. I guess you have to press uh, F11. I guess, you, uh, I guess if you really want to help us, you can just disable comments, which is annoying. Or again, you can uh, switch to WASD controls. Here we go. Uh, wait, no, there's still a scroll bar. Let me press F11. I guess now this is works. Oh, come on. 
Okay, and that's how it works. Only thing for me to remember next time is to really change to WASD because this is hugely annoying, the scroll bar. And I don't think we can scroll. Yeah, I don't think we can. This is not what, uh, what they mean. Oh yeah, let's try a full screen button. And also let's enable automatically start on, on thing. Okay, it automatically loads. We have a full screen button here. Okay, this is much better. This is much, much better. Perfect. Uh, remember to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos about game development. And I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems. Let me know in the comments if you have any more ideas you need help with. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao! And if you do make a game, put a link in the comments.